Hey, welcome back. This is episode 17 in the Let's Play series. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been about three or four days, and we've lost probably all our money there for being offline for three or four days. I've uh, been attacked 45 times. We only got two gems out of it because we don't have a very good defense. Um, so we can go and look in the attack history. And we can see in here who attacked us. Most people took about you know 20,000 gold from us. So that's slowly added up over time. And it shows like the last 10 people. Uh, we got third place in the Bronze League. We still haven't heard back from support on this game at all uh, about getting our gems. I'll have to check the gem count to see if um, we possibly did get our gems because it does look pretty high 237. Um, so I'll check back in the last video and see if they actually just ninja and gave us some gems for the uh, tournament. Because like I said, I think I was at like 170 or something. Um, so you're having 230. They might have actually just given us the gems and not respond to the sport ticket. That's what they do a lot of the times. So yeah, we have absolutely zero gold. Uh, we collect our farms. And you can see they steal a little bit from the... Uh, a little bit from the farms, but there was nothing there. This one. Yeah. The farms are actually all full. So we collect our food. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple of raids. We have to figure out what we need to upgrade here. Um, everything is all done. Upgrading. So we have all our builders. We have everything. We just unlocked the heal spell. Let's see our hammer strike. We can upgrade our hammer strike for 250000 We can upgrade our sword rain for 150000 and we can upgrade our Firestorm for 250000 That's here. So we have the Pyromancer unlocked right now. Throne Room level 5. Castle Gate is upgraded already. We don't have the Gargoyle Tower unlocked, so we need to upgrade the Inventor's Workshop to unlock the Gargoyle Tower. So we need 150,000. And we can also upgrade our Wave. So I'm not going to have enough um, enough money to upgrade everything, so I'm going to upgrade some of the minor things real quickly here. The farms and that. Um, and then now we're going to go raid. So it's better to have your workers do something than not do something. So I'm going to check my favorites list because I typically put people that have lots of money in the favorites list. So we'll see who has money in here. Let's see, month. Mumphy 1991 has 71,000, which is a pretty good amount. So we're going to try and get like 300,000 or so. It's kind of crazy that uh, I didn't realize we had that much gold on this account when we um, last logged off. Because we lost 520,000 or so. There's definitely a lot of gold. So I'm not seeing anything over 100,000 in here, um, which is kind of disappointing. So let's see what a random opponent will give us. About 54. We'll do a couple new enemies here to see. Here's like the most we're going to get is 50s or 60s. So I guess we're going to go in and attack our guy that is worth 70,000. So, if I remember who he was, uh, Mumphy. So, I'm gonna go attack Mumphy. Archers are backups, and then Paladins. Uh, I think we may have actually just unlocked the tank, though. Yeah, we do have a cannon available. 
So we can use that for the first time in this uh, game. Cannon's level one. Oh, we're only gonna bring out one. Bring out one in the beginning and bring out a lot of knights. So the cannon's gonna help take out the spikes, which relieves some pressure off of my hero. Bring out some archers. And he has lots of spikes. Lots of spikes and lots of water towers. Um, so not a very good base, because the water towers all die to the firestorm. And one hits. Oops. You come up here and hit the corner, so you get the arrow tower as well. And you take both of them down. And now we're just going to be spamming knights as our knight supply died. We have a couple archers back there. And tons and tons of knights. And then our one cannon, who hasn't been touched by anything. Uh, the cannon is going to pretty much be indestructible when the guy doesn't have any um, firebolt, cannon, uh, firebolt towers or the crossbow towers. One cannon is, like I said, pretty indestructible at this stage. Um, and it's also very powerful. Some people use two cannons, but they aren't as good of uh, DPS as the knights having too many of them. And it, you do have to make sure that they stay alive. Um, so you can see, you don't have to use a cannon, it helps a little bit. Um, you don't have to use archers. Yeah, you gotta tweak your style a little bit, but mainly your attacking strategy is gonna be with just straight knights. Uh, everything else is just going to be supplements to your knight army. So you definitely always got to build up your knights. And we're going to get a special package. The golden package, and we're not going to buy anything else. So we're going to say no, not now. We have 237 gems. And we can check and see if we have any gems in here to lower the package cost. We don't have that many gems. We have like maybe maybe a hundred in here stored up. So that's nowhere near what we need to get the golden package. So now it stays there for six hours. You can check on it. Uh, I'm gonna look and see if there's any way I can decrease the value of it. Um, the only way I could decrease the value is to upgrade my treasure chamber. But I think my treasure chamber is already maxed, so I can't do that. So there's going to be no way really to cheat the system there and buy that gold package without getting, without actually buying gems from the store. So we're not going to do that. We're going to keep saving up our gems for a future package. So we're going to go in and we're going to look at Mumphy and see. So he's getting 41,000 now. So not that great. We're going to look at some of the other ones now. Uh, McBugby. It's going to get 52,000, so we're going to go and attack him. So this is why you always store up your favorite opponents that are easy to attack and that give a good amount of gold. So it saves you a lot of time searching through the leaderboards. And then you also know how to attack these guys and what troops work good against them. Because uh, some bases you will have to use a lot more of like ranged troops or a lot more cannons. Uh, you'll have to change up your spells a little bit. If they have tons and tons of paladins and they're strong, you'll have to use the toxic spell to take care of the paladins. And a lot of times if they have a lot of paladins, they won't have a lot of pyromancers or frosters. So then you'll, you'll substitute the sword rain spell for the toxic spell. So some people have said that the... Um, friend list actually makes the game a little bit more boring because you do attack the same person a lot. Um, yes, it does make it a little bit boring if you're attacking him like six times in a row because it's so repetitive and like, oh yeah, I know exactly what to do. Da, 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 da. Um, but otherwise, if you're only going to be playing a few minutes here and there, on and off, um, it definitely makes it way more convenient for more of the casual players and it also helps you build up gold a lot quicker. 
because as you can see, we have that guy who's giving us 70,000, and now this guy is giving us 50,000, so that's already 120,000. Uh, we're going to raid in, you know, five minutes or so. So there's our 50,000, we've got one trophy. And it seems like we will have to go up the leaderboards now. Uh, they did change the loot a little bit, it looks like. Um, the higher up in trophies you are, the more available loot you will start be finding. That's why I'm surprised of only seeing 70,000 and 50,000 in this game. And even when you fight someone that's really strong, like Icy Snow, it's only 43,000, and she's 300 trophies ahead of us. So we do have some work to do in leveling up and getting trophies, moving up on the leaderboards. So we're going to go attack the real Frisbee. So anything over 50,000 is a really good raid. Uh, if you do five of those, you can get 250,000 in about 10 minutes, which is pretty good. And like I said, once you find someone that's giving you a hundred in like twenty thousand, hundred and thirty thousand every few hours, because the loot will reset. So if I log off and I come back on in like six hours, then these guys all their loot will go back to the maximum that they could have, which was seventy and like sixty thousand. So they'll gain their loot back. I'll be able to steal a lot more again. And so you can constantly farm the same people, you know, three or four times during the day. Just spread it out a few hours here and there. Let your farms build up so it doesn't cost you any gems. Uh, or you can use the Facebook trick and actually get the free food by inviting your friends on Facebook. Um, so there's a lot of little tips and tricks that you can do. I will be doing a specific video on a higher level account that shows how to get 300, 400,000 in about 10 minutes. Uh, very, very easy. And that's the same thing of just storing up someone that's giving a good amount of gold and then attacking him three times and you'll get you know three hundred thousand and then if you attack him again you'll get like 350 or you know 360 and you know five times you'll have four hundred thousand in less than you know 15 minutes or so so it's really easy to build up gold now at least you know half a million gold um, Getting a million gold is a little bit tougher because after you have raided four or five times, all your available loot goes way down, and now you have to sit and play the waiting game. And what it appears is every time that you log off with a lot of gold, uh, about half of it is available to be stolen. So if you log off with like 600,000 gold, um, when you come back on in a few hours or whatever, someone will probably have taken 300,000 of your gold. So that's a downside. The only way to get around that is to constantly be online and touching your screen so no one can attack you. Uh, but doing that is kind of, you know, kind of cheap if you're just sitting there touching your screen every few minutes. So definitely, you know, the gold shields that you can buy are definitely very, very important higher up. Uh, the first one it costs 45 gems and then the second one costs 180 gems. Uh, you may be thinking they're pretty pricey, and you may be wondering why the third three-day gold shield costs more than the one-day gold shield combined. Um, it's because they, they have a very long cooldown. The one-day gold shield has like a nine-day cooldown. The three-day gold shield has, I mean, I, ha I haven't done it recently, but probably has about a 20-day cooldown, which means you can only use those once every two weeks or so, or three weeks. Um, you can't always have a gold shield up. But the gold shield definitely helps you get to 1 million plus gold uh, or, you know, even higher. So like our throne room, we need 1.2 million to get there. So in order to get that, we're going to have to use the gold shield. And so that's for, you know, another day. So we have 219,000. Uh, we can upgrade our inventor's workshop. And then I'll be back in several hours to farm more money and then upgrade one of our spells. And that's going to do it for this episode. And please check back later and please subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Also, if you want to leave your king name and I can do a video on your base, I'll leave that down below as well.
Thanks, guys.